Uh, the governor, Agbo Kaffer, says his administration will soon put a benchmark for teachers in primary and secondary schools in the state to raise the state education standard. He made the disclosure at the 6th and 7th combined convocation ceremony of the Federal University Wukari, where he insisted that his administration would implement minimum requirement for both schools to ensure that learners are guided by educators with solid academic qualifications. Our correspondent Jude Nuhu Gundali's report is presented from our studios. This is the sixth and seventh combined convocation ceremony of the Federal University Wukari. The convocation drew people from all walks of life to the ancient city, the spiritual headquarters of Kwanarafa Kingdom. Speaking at the event, Governor Abu Kafer said he will implement minimum teaching requirements to raise the standard of education and ensure that learners are guided by educators with solid academic qualifications. He explained that primary school teachers would be required to have a minimum qualification of a degree, while secondary school teachers will have at least master's degree among others. As part of our commitment to raising educational standards, I am pleased to announce that in the near future, we will be implementing minimum requirements for teachers at various levels. For primary education, the minimum requirement for teachers will be a first degree, and ensuring that our youngest learners are guided by educators with a solid academic foundation. Similarly, for secondary education, Teachers will be required to have a minimum of a master's degree, ensuring that students receive instruction from highly qualified and knowledgeable mentors. The government said his administration will provide more training opportunities to ensure that teachers remain updated and build their capabilities in the discharge of their duties. He urged the graduates to consider the noble teaching profession and that their expertise can shape and add value to the education sector. Governor Kavis commended the Federal University of Wukari for its dedication to knowledge delivery and the role it is playing in shaping the future of the young ones. He said as a government, effort will be made to follow up with the federal government to ensure that laws establishing the university are properly put in place. As a state government, we will follow up with the federal government to ensure that the enabling law is established. In his speech, the Vice Chancellor, Federal University Wukari, Professor Jude Samani Rabo, commended the dedication and commitment of the staff of the institution in equipping the graduates and equally enjoined them to strive to become beacons of hope in their respective societies. The VC commended the support the institution received from the Taraba State Government under the Governor Abu Kevis to include donation of a general hospital, which is now the university's teaching hospital, the donation of a piece of land and funding of the convocation ceremony, among others. On behalf of the honorary degree recipients, the former SGF, Boss Mustafa, thanked the management of the university for approving their awards and said the honor bestowed on them is an additional responsibility to grow and develop the university. I'm glad to inform the bishop that now the protest projects have been completed and were commissioned yesterday. Similarly, the perimeter phase has been completed and commissioned. Lastly, but more importantly, teaching hospital has now been established for Federal University of Ghana. I'm honestly excited that I'm being honored today along with two great Nigerians. That is His Majesty Manu Ishaku Ada, the Akuka, and Chairman of Taraba, Tradition, uh, Taraba State Traditional Rulers Council and Chief Obadiah Ando, former Minister of Water Resources in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are all conscious of the fact that this award bestows on us more responsibilities than privileges for the growth of the Federal University of Those honored with honorary doctorate degrees, 
honorary consul includes the former Minister of Water Resources, Obadiah Ando, the Aku Oka, His Royal Majesty, Mano Isha Koada Ali, and the former Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa. Highlights of the occasion included presentation of prizes and awards to some of the graduates who distinguished themselves in various fields.